So Tom Reed here down in uh, Tupelo, Mississippi, happened to run into this gentleman. Your name, sir? Uh, Jerry. Jerry. Okay, Jerry. Uh, Jerry, I take these videos and I upload them to YouTube. You okay with that? Yes, sir. All right. Jerry, how old are you? 58. Where are you from? Uh, live in the south mostly. I've, I've been out there with everything, beaching and the go park, and I've been around a little bit. Okay. And how long have you been here in Tupelo? Only and off, in and out. Okay. And uh, what type of jobs you had in your life? Well, running chainsaw, done a little water work, this system for that for cities, uh, done a little motor mixing, uh, furniture. I put a few tin roofs on. Okay, you uh, ever had any substance abuse issues? I was born substance abuse, but I got a GED, which that means good education, doesn't it? Yep, congratulations. All right, thank you. Good. I have nine minors. I have six in the Bible. There's three in self-worth, three in the discipleship, and three in fatherhood. But six of those are like 60 hours, and one of them's 90, but I couldn't recall which one. It was kind of hard test. Got the little phone interview. Oh, okay. Yeah, Did you study thing. a lot? Well, uh, it wasn't too bad. Okay, it wasn't good. too bad. Cool. And um, family? Well, there's just bootleggers and People come from here and there, you know, and this is the South, and I tell you, people, I ain't heard none of my folks from either side. Uh, they, they ain't been in the cotton field with the plow in there. I actually had an uncle who got drugged to death by a mule <coughs> uh, back in the day. I have got out there as a kid myself. I didn't have to do it, but I got out there and did what you did. You slid on your knees with the long pants. You tried to sing if you was a younger person, and you picked off the bottom of the lower side. Older picks picked up the pipe. Well, I read a book about Johnny Cash one time. It's where the word middling comes from. It's fair to middling, good to middling, excellent. It's where the grade of the pipe. All right. Wow. And um, this area around here, would you say it's a good quality of life? Things are cheaper. They are cheaper. Cheaper. Okay. Your the roads are a lot better. Yeah, the roads are great. Yeah, they used to just roll black. They just 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 roll black them to death, you know. Once upon a time around here. Yeah. Your uh, favorite childhood memory. Favorite childhood memory. I got quite a few. Well. Give me the favorite one. All right, I tell you, the first one I read, remember, was my dad had this guy bootleg, bitten man, couldn't talk, he was just drunk, lived in a box car, stayed at the sheriff. The sheriff, my dad, kind of kind of paid the folks, you know how it goes back then today. We talking about the fifties and the sixties. My dad was a very small man, but just had a good balance. Well, uh, he didn't take no shit out of him. And which a lot of these sheriffs and other people respected him, and a lot of them didn't. Uh, he, he more a man than I, I ever been, is that what I would say. I could never hold up to him. But bootlegging was the thing it was in the 60s here. Mm -hmm. So I think like 67, he couldn't get it. Well, one of the members is we're going to make the whiskey. I said, Daddy, that man ain't got this. That. But Daddy says, son, that don't mean nothing. He's a good man. The guy's had nothing. Didn't mean anything. One of the next things is pretty good, you know. Just the way I try to look at a lot of folks. One thing I always say, like the man, this is Tupelo, Mississippi. We had a man here called the Tupelo Tornado. A tornado come through up in Green Street with with the color Afro-American people out there. He killed quite a few way back in the days. This guy was six foot six, 188 pounds, and you can pull his name up just to see acres. Left hand to South Powell. Well, me and Mr. Jesse Acres, a lot of us guys, we'd mow a yard. There's some of these bits of paper. We'd get money. There was a bail bonds from here. We made money mowing yards and making leaves for upper class people as kids. Well, I was 65 when I got my first job, was like 78. So I ran a long ch chainsaw a little bit before that. Uh, that didn't. But anyway, pretty, 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 pretty penniless here. But the point of it is, this is one of the good lessons the man taught me. My dad taught me this one. And this man, I taught me this one. I said, Mr. Jesse, he's way in his 70s. I said, Mr. Jesse, what it take to make a life? He said, do your job and be honest with yourself. I pretty much took it as a good deal. But this man was a professional boxer. Now, in my day, a woman this and that and this and that, which a woman has her day to day. 
which I know this too. This is different now. It's totally different. You just got your ass whooped back then, days, you know? Yeah. About the wife and girlfriend, whatever, and it's all there. Well, Mr. Jesse Akers, and this is one of the worst fears I've had that I've been caught up in this situation with this girl, this girl, and this is this is social media, politics, and as the Bible says, and your fourth grade and other about social media, you get some of the seven, eight. Robin Hood, Earl Flynn, that's part of it, you should read it. The way it was, all the married men were out there was asking the Robin Hood how much money we got. Well, because a black guy, I guess that was with me, which was on the point, kind of saved Robin. They about, hey, well, right, he's telling all oh, we got extra money. Well, Robin Hood, Earl Flynn said, we're going to the social land like social media or social house. And uh, all the white dudes were cheering on. They said, well, what about the black colored African American man? Of course, he said, he gets first choice. And the white guys were very happy about it. Well. How about this? Your favorite movie? Favorite movie. Couldn't really say favorite movie. I've seen some good ones. I've seen some good ones. Uh, I couldn't really, I couldn't really, couldn't really say. Favorite movie, John Wayne, gonna be the same situation. It's called Make Them Think You've Been to Hell and Back. And in the jungle, they're fighting. He's just thing which about bringing people over here. What's gonna happen is, which is about the wall now. Yeah. He brings up the subject of the taxes and social media. He's all thought, and he says later on, 50, 68 years from the communication movie, we will be in trouble. Well, one dude says, I kill him. They can't kill him out. Yeah. So that's social media. The social media comes from English, yep. and as the Bible says, you'll find it. And there's a lot to it, and there's three sources of housing. Yeah. Oh. I'm not going to preach to nobody because I'm not a preacher, but they people, some think, don't know that some people don't. Yep. Well, oh. they, they don't understand. But this is the thing about the taxes. Russia just going to try to change some of that to herself. As far as the old bootlegging goes, I used to drive with my dad, they'd make that, get that beer in the summertime. In 1962 and a half, Galaxy 500 had big points on it. From train sand mission, this and that, you know. Well, they take all the beer, back seat out, and fill all the back seat with beer, and all the sun. But if had them old beer cross, they would jump, jack it up, and stick two before the front, so it wouldn't sag on the way back. Well, that was my job. Well, I'm a child. We'd be dropping up to that. And they said, look, son, look. I said, McDonald's, this boy ain't no McDonald's, that's a good one tonight. <laughs> yeah, that was a child. Wow. That was a child, yeah. How about this, your favorite book? Favorite book. I've read a few books. I've read The Night Way and this and that. I've read the Bible several times. There used to be some articles I used to read out of Di 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 <coughs> Reader's Digest years ago, which it was up here. Uh, I read pretty well, not so much the spelling. As far as math, this is how I figured out how to do fractions. My step did his tools have been back so be very easy. And I would put all the tools together. Mm -hmm. Well, I kind of figured out time I was in the fourth grade, well, 16 sixteenths makes an inch. So, you know, that's a basic knowledge set for a set of tools. Well, you could have a 24 inch test, that would be too much. So I kind of figured out I could do fractions like that. So I kind of learned to mm -hmm. with the big one, add, subtract, and multiply the value. I just used the basic sockets and wrenches and it helped me with my mouth. Further than that, I couldn't go much further. Okay. I you, failed English bad on that test. That's all right. I'm computer, I'm computer literate. I don't know nothing much about them cell phones, iPods, computer yep. stuff, because I just done furniture and work and this and that and the other. And, uh, now, excuse me, are you homeless? I'm not home. Okay. You know, Jesus was home as a duck where he slept is where he laughed. Sometimes he yeah. even slept in the wilderness. No, you're right about that. Yeah. You, you got any questions for me? Any questions? What is that, Michigan? Yeah. That's a long way. I've never been that north. Yeah, you had a... Well, I got, I got a good joke for you. Go ahead. Yeah, let me have it. I, let me have I'm it. Just, no, this is just a joke. Don't tell it so bad. Okay. Well, you know, I was one of the first things I did. A lot of people come down here, you know, that. We'll call y'all Yankees, Yankees, and I'll call us Southern Hillbillies. These if people used to say, you know, teach a Yankee how to drive, point them north. <laughs> it's just a joke down here, you know. But like I said, you go to California, 
These girls talk about some nice and this and that. I there's some totally different lanes that go for it and this and that. And then I've done some bigger places in Tennessee. I, I've been to some big seas. Yeah, I do I kind of miss them up around here. Ooh. There's a lot of things gone now that they can't change, and there's just too many of them. And yep. Like I said, I knew that my day was over at the turn of the century. Yep. And because of this shit, because when these songs first came out here, they had a finger in there. Now, this stuff just was everywhere. Now, I'm dumb as a rat. And I told a couple of girls that got college degree, I said, it's got to be famous. Secret government has pulled it up. Well, it's a bunch of stuff, and I can't read shorthand. But it showed that FEMA is our government. I built a FEMA building over here. With internet, ambulances, <laughs> raincoats, business cards, uh, and all of them bags. Uh, that's your uh, disaster on the 16%, you know? Yeah. So they had a big meeting here in certain part and certain part, and I walked right in, and that's what it said. It just didn't make that much sense. Mm -hmm. uh, well, Jerry, but, I appreciate you talking to me. Yeah. Well, as far as I say, uh, I work with many colored men doing this fine tour and working in these cities. There's several football players come from Mississippi, and we have all do with Mr. Jerry Rice, a football player from Mississippi. Sure. You know, I watched an interview on him about three years ago on METV, which is our educational channel. He's from Crawford, Mississippi. Mm -hmm. He's saying, you know, he played baseball, basketball, but he was in the 12th grade. Got caught skipping school, him and a bunch more people. He said the coach and principal say, how fast he run. Jerry Rice, his punishment was to start playing football. Oh, wow. Sure did, sure did. Well, Jerry, thank you. I'm going to get going. I uh, appreciate talking to you, and thank you for giving me an interview. Mm -hmm. Well, finish up my story on Mr. Jesse C. Acres. Oh, you want to finish it? He, he's, he was a good man. You can pull this name up yourself, the Chief Lord Pollinator. Yep. But see, like I say, things have changed from what it used to be and this and that, and these people are doing what they want, doing wrong. But you know, Mr. Jesse Acres wound up going to a chain gang done some time in prison. But he beat a man to death with his fist, touching and saying something to his wife. So, that's just kind of way I can kick my ass about three times, the situation I'm in now. But that's all right. One of my worst nightmares. Yeah, I'm going to look that up tonight. Thank you, Jerry. Yes, sir. I got to.